After being cut off from the caldera, the 102 form Timeship Compassion had multiple time sensitive companions to act as her power source. Pros, Warring States. These included the Gallifreyan technician Nevet, Pros, the Ancestor Cell, and the enigmatic Carmen Ye. Pros, The Book of the War, when Elizabeth Klein rewrote history using the Doctor's stolen TARDIS to ensure the existence of the Third Reich into the future, she was given the position of Head of Temporal Affairs. In this capacity, she traveled in the TARDIS with Major Richter, although it was an open secret that he was there to both learn how to use the TARDIS himself and ensure that Klein's loyalties remained with the Reich rather than risk her sympathizing with the aliens she encountered. Audio. The Architects of History. Mr. Saldamir had companions, who were destroyed in the Time Wars alongside his homeworld and the rest of his kind. Pros. Mr. Saldamir. Time-traveling DJ Theo Possible traveled for long periods of time with Kelsey, pros, party kill accelerator. Steve, pros, happily ever after is a high-risk strategy, and Queenie Tilbury. Comic. The Train in Vain and the Junkmail Messiah. Jackson Lake, while believing himself to be the doctor, had Rosita as his companion. In fact, the real doctor, in his tenth incarnation initially considered himself to be Jackson's companion. Rosita continued as Jackson's companion even after his memory and original personality were restored, being hired by Jackson to act as the nursemaid for his son Frederick Lake. TV, The Next Doctor. Jack Harkness compared his relationship with Angelo Colasanto to that of the Doctor and his companions. TV, Immortal Sins. When his attempt to fill in the role of the Doctor landed him in trouble, Jack received assistance from the Sixth Doctor, who played the part of Captain Jack Harkness. Audio. Peace of mind. Jack's relationship with Gwen Cooper as he took her under his wing to introduce her to Torchwood also had a doctor companion undertone. TV, Everything Changes. Sarah Jane Smith developed her own cohort of companions during her time based out of 13 Bannerman Road. These included her adopted children Luke, TV, Invasion of the Bane, and Sky, TV, Sky, and several local teenagers who came and went over time. Maria Jackson, TV, Invasion of the Bane. The Last Santaran, Clyde Langer, TV, Revenge of the Slatheen, Ronnie Chandra, TV, The Day of the Clown, and Kelsey Hooper. TV, Invasion of the Bane, she also had two non-human companions, K9 Mark IV and the alien supercomputer Mr. Smith. TV, Invasion of the Bane, when the Torchwood of Pete's World launched a search via Dimension Cannon to find the Tenth Doctor in N-Space, Rose Tyler volunteered to lead the search through the parallel universes. Though her first venture was made alone for safety reasons, Rose endangered her own life to take that universe's Clive Finch, whose end space counterpart she had known, back with her. Now knowing that two people could use the Dimension Cannon at a time, Rose justified her actions by recruiting Clive to accompany her, Audio, The Endless Night, in the next trip. Audio, The Flood, in the third, Rose was accompanied by Pete Tyler, the eponymous counterpart of her deceased father in Pete's world. Audio, Ghost Machines, in the fourth, Rose was accompanied by her own mother, Jackie Tyler. Audio, The Lasty Party of Earth, 